So I decided to try a voiceover. Uh, yes, that's a real moth and a real piranha. We're gonna grab a 3.2 millimeter slotted tungsten UV bead and a size 16 hook, some 70 denier thread or whatever you wanna use. And we're just gonna tie in a little base. And then we're gonna grab some lead. And we're just gonna take a little piece of this lead, tie it in behind the bead. This is just to help the bead invert. So it rides high on the hook. Next, we're gonna grab some grizzly hackle, take about six or five to seven fibers, and we're just gonna tie in a little tail. Oh, come on now, let's tie that tail in. Then we're gonna loop under the tail fibers just to get those fibers to splay out like that. And then we'll just tie in those fibers, create a little, little taper. Uh, we're gonna grab some UV floss and we're just gonna tie in, we're just gonna catch the tip of that and tie that in. Uh, careful not to tie into your tail fibers and then we'll just kind of give this just a little taper. Grab your floss and just carefully create a nice spaced ribbing. Tie that in front and back and then we'll just trim that off. Uh, next we'll grab some UV resin in thin and we're just gonna coat that whole body. Careful not to get it on your tail or your hook. And then to remove the excess, take your fingers and just squeeze it. I've learned that works best. Then cure it with your UV light. Next we'll grab some angel hair and some chartreuse. And we're gonna create a really fine, small dubbing noodle uh, today. And then we'll just give that like one or two wraps. We're gonna grab some flashaboo. We're just gonna take one strand here and we're gonna fold it over the thread. And we'll just tie that on top. I know this fly inverts. Um, so you can tie it on the top or the bottom. I really don't think it matters. Next we'll grab some extra fine UV dub in a little bit lighter green and then we're gonna just create a really really fine dubbing noodle just to kind of push those flashaboo fibers back and uh, finish the taper. Give it a five or six turn whip finish. Uh, trim your thread, then we'll grab those flashaboo fibers and trim them. I trimmed them down to two. And watch this. Here comes the UV light. This is what the fly will do when it's in the river and the sun comes out. It's just a good attractor pattern. There's a fancy picture I took and here's some awesome merch. If you guys are interested, links in the bio. Thanks so much for watching guys. I can't express how much I appreciate you guys and appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. Uh, have a blessed day wherever you're at. Steve from Black Fly signing out.